Good morning, Mr. Mom Staff and Students. This is Mr. Lon with your Thursday A Day announcements, upcoming events. Students, you know about them. Tomorrow is the ninth grade class trip. Monday is the trade union fair. Grades close out on Thursday the 16th. That's a week from today. Holler at it. Monday the 27th is quarter one report card conferences. That's all day. So students, you do not have school that day. Um, more information going out to your family soon about that. And Monday, Monday, uh, Thursday, the 14th of December, we have the college and career fair. And students, as you know, our number one priority as educators and mass bombs to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems because we are here to support you. All right, messages from your class sponsors, 12th and 11th grade, seniors and juniors. All right, first, 12th grade students, senior cap and gown proofs are in. You can pick them up any day during advisory. If you owe the $20 sitting fee, please bring that with you when picking up your pictures. Also, trip deposits are due on Friday, November the 10th, okay? $35 deposit is required to hold your spot on the bus. Payments made in school should be in the form of cash or money order. Receipts are given immediately. See Ms. Chris, Ms. Bacon, or Mr. Trainer, with any questions. And as for the 11th grade class updates, <coughs> trip deposits are due on Friday, November the 10th. $35 deposit is required to hold your spot on the bus. The last call for any 11th grade student interested in running for class officer. All right. The nomination form is due back this Friday, November the 10th. Payments made in school should be in the form of cash or money order. Receipts are given immediately. And see Miss Chris, Miss Bacon, or Mr. Trainer with any questions. All right, good, 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 good stuff. Uh, from Chef Tim, Chef Allen, and the culinary, the Panther Cafe. You know what that is, students. Is open this Friday, November the 10th, during third, fifth, and seventh period lunch. Warm up with a chili bowl and Stuffed baked potatoes. All right, there's beef chili. Okay, a lot of good ingredients in there. If you want to take the healthier choice, you could go turkey chili. A lot of good ingredients in there. They got the cilantro. They have the onions. They have, they're not just onions. They're green onions. Green onions. You get some cornbread with that. You get everything. You get everything that one would expect in a chili. Okay, beef is $7 a ball, 6 Dollars a ball for <coughs> the turkey, stuffed baked potato, top of their choice of shredded cheddar, butter, sour cream, green onions. That's four dollars. You could add bacon, you could add turkey bacon, you could add beef chili, you could add turkey chili, you could add those different things. Sides and desserts, cornbread two, banana nut bread two, pumpkin spice bread because it is the season. Is also two and beverages. We have Panther Punch for two and. Tea lemonade, which is a half and half, a 50-50, if you will. That's $2. All right. The Pennsylvania Seal of Biliteracy for 2023-24. If your superpower is being able to read, write, listen, and speak in a second or third language, are you a junior or a senior? If so, come to the Seal of Biliteracy registration event in room 612 after school on Thursday. I'm sorry, Tuesday, November the 14th, to acknowledge and celebrate your superpower. With the seal of biliteracy, you will, one, receive recognition and an award at graduation. Two, stand out from the crowd and make yourself more attractive for college and universities. And three, acquire a resume builder. There is high demand for multilingual employees. Get paid for your superpower. All right. Come for pizza and to register for the seal of biliteracy after school on Tuesday, November the 14th in room 612. Bring your laptop. And there's a QR code there with the Tyrannosaurus Rex in the middle. Just because. I suppose that's a registration thing. Thank you. Mr. Zwolak, students, remember, if we see your yonder or we see your phone outside of its yonder, okay, you are going to be put on the yonder list. And if you achieve accumulate three warnings within a week, guess what's going to happen? A, you are going to have a parent letter from Ms. Foster at the main scan, and B, you will have your phone confiscated from Ms. Foster at the main scan. 
So, staff, stay on those yonder warnings and let us know who is breaking the yonder law. Mass Bomb Social Wellness Group, reminder from Dr. Hayward and the STEP team. Okay, we are going to be starting our next cycle of group. All right, Tuesday, November the 28th. The offering for this year is youth empowerment. Reflect on who you are, learn your leadership style, create a vision for your future, and give back to the community. It's Tuesdays from 1145 to 1230 in room 410. If interested, you can sign up in one of the counselor suites or you can access that QR code. CL by Literacy, we just talked about. SSC is open today. Students, it is open before school. It is open after school. In the way of clubs today, we have the Multicultural Club with Mr. King, one of the OG clubs at Mass Bomb in 605 from 245 to 345. For checklist and PBIS points and Cooth and Chromebook repairs and our social media and November is Gratitude Month at Mass Bomb. Staff and students, do you have some gratitude you'd like to share for someone or something at our amazing school? You can email me at dllon and philsd.org. And the gratitude's rolling in. Okay. Staff, if you sent me some gratitude on the morning announcements form, and I am not getting to it as part of these morning announcements. Rest assured, I'm just saving for another time. I'm trying to space them out, okay? So I want to hear from all staff, all staff. I want to hear gratitude shared throughout this month for our students or for colleagues or for something. I'm asking the students, I want to hear from you as well. All right. That's what we're coming in with today. Mass Mom staff and student shout outs for Mr. Wexler. I'm thankful to God that there is a good team here at Mass Bomb that is responsible and easy to get along with. I'm also thankful for the effort that I have been seeing from the students this year. All right. Great job, Mr. Wexler. From Ms. Linscombe, I am grateful for my wonderful English department. We support one another and have insightful meetings. In this job, colleague support is critical, and that is why our English teachers are the best. We are, quote, unquote, quote, unquote, lit. Sorry, sorry, I know, but it's true. All right. Good job, Miss Linscombe. And this last one is from Miss Worthman. Put your name in there, Miss Worthman. I am grateful for staff with whom I collaborate, and I'm grateful for my students who have learned a lot and worked hard during this marking period. I am also grateful for Miss Denise, the teaching assistant, for wonderful conversation and smiles during advisory. Miss Worthman, thank you so much for that. It's a nice shout out to Miss Denise. Totally agree. And great job with the gratitude there. And Chef Tim coming in off the top rope with an entire slide unto himself from Chef Tim. I would, I would like to shout out Level 3 Culinary Seniors for their community service project and giving back to our Kensington community with a donation of fresh made soup, stew and bread to the St. Francis Inn Shelter. Senior students receive funding from Reading Terminal Market to shop at the market for their ingredients for the recipe. Students use the purchases to create chicken noodle soup, old-fashioned beef stew, and fresh baked rolls and bread to feed over 200 people this past Thursday night at St. Francis Inn. It's amazing. Students learn about recipe scaling and measurement, cooking methods with soup and stew and baking, as well as food cost and identification of quality produce and protein in a market setting. Very proud of these students for giving back to the less fortunate by using their skills in culinary arts. Culinary seniors were also the first Mass Bomb class to use WHYY Media Lab cameras in the classroom to film our shopping trip to Reading Terminal. Interviews with each other about food preparation, footage of students prepping, cooking the soup, stew, and bread, and finally the actual donation to St. Francis Inn for 200 people. Seniors will be editing the pictures and video collected into our first film uh, shop film documenting the project. We will share this with the school when finished. Last minute shout out to Mr. Anthony Beltran Rivera, our WHYY media coordinator for instruction and camera operation and editing. And finally, a big thank you to Reading Terminal Market, our students in WHYY for helping Mass Bomb Culinary build the future one meal at a time. You know, there's a lot of great things going on. Chef Tim, our 
our just service in the community, WHYY, lots of really great stuff. Lots of really great stuff. And in a Philadelphia landmark, no less, Reading Terminal Market. Okay. There's some pictures from Chef Tim and the culinary and their service work. <clears throat> and these are the longest announcements of the year, but there's a lot going on. I love the gratitude. We're going to close it out with uh, a throwback or throwback vision slide. Okay. Or mass bomb. We build the future. Have a great Thursday.